Hey, back again, Grappling Dads. Episode, uh, I don't know, I forget. 71. 71. There we go. Uh, Paul? Kip? There we go. Uh, today's episode is going to be funsies. A little, uh, little deeper, a little deeper. Can be on, uh, <laughs> a little deeper. Well, it, so it's it's a thing, right? We're in the deep end. So it, it's going to be uh, proper pressure versus smashy guy. Whether just, <laughs> whether just <laughs> smash test. Whether, whether just by mass or by muscly, right? Yeah. And uh, I think there's a lot of confusion between that and the uh, jujitsu community. So I wanted to clarify a few things, even for myself. So this was helpful. Nee. Nee. <laughs> I don't think this affects most people. Uh, <laughs> I think it does a little. I mean, oh, you're it being mu- facetious. I mean, it, no, I, see I am never. There. I see what you're doing. Never that yeah. way. Straightforward How as hell. Dare you mess with me on this kind of a podcast? This is this is a, is a fucking legit. This is serious, pod- guys. And last, oh, whole, oh, God. let's get through our sponsors real quick because I got a bone to pick with another podcast. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Top Mount Apparel. Dot dot com. Com. <laughs> yeah, we're old as fuck. <laughs> Deal with it, people. Half our listeners know what that is. Yeah, half the other half are like, what are they those doing? guys are fucking, did Jesus. they just harmonize? <laughs> Everybody just <laughs> turned off the podcast like I'm not listening Damn to it, shit. the numbers sucked on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, not sorry. Not at all. Um, we are who we are. It's also part of the pick. Uh, no, but check them out. Uh, they're actually coming to visit us in um, a month or so, something like that. Oh, we're going to fight. Oh, it's going to be it's fucking great. You're going to be to the death. Oh, we got to check in with Chad, see if he can be there so he can make us look better. Be like, yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. That dude does. <laughs> yeah, we, should have some good pe- <laughs> we should have some good people in the gym just so they're yeah. like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. black line, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all you crappy people, you yeah, know who I'm talking yeah. about, don't show up. Yeah. That's just me and you, though. Damn it, that's, we can't go. Sorry, awesome. Al. <laughs> we're, we're fucking out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, we suck. Uh, but no, check them out on Instagram. They got a lot of cool stuff going there. What's that other thing that they support wildly? What's it called? It's regardless. That's it. Bam. I'm wearing the shirt right you now. You are. And uh, it's matter of reg- fact, when this episode drops, I'm going to drop a pic with me wearing the fabulous shirt. Why don't you do that? I'm going to do that. Not right this second, though. No, no. I need a moment. We'd have to stop the show. God knows we don't edit. Yeah, after the dot com thing, people will be happy for us to stop the show. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. And I also should stop lying. I do edit, just not a lot. You do? Yeah, a little bit. What do you do? Yeah, drop levels on certain shit and oh. pick them back up. Fascinating. I had no idea. Yeah. Don't you ever see me just staring at the screen, going, "Fuck, that was too loud." Nope. <laughs> <sighs> That's what you're doing over there. I thought you were on Instagram. Like, uh, normally, uh, you're that uninteresting yeah. to me. So yeah, no. yeah, it's usually my thing. Um, I'm playing uh, Crossy Roads. Don't check. <laughs> it's fun. It's not Bubble Witch or nothing? Uh, bubble? No, I got over that. Good. Like, yeah. Good, you should. You're too old for that. And fuck you. All right. So, hey, <laughs> if you go to topmountapparel.com and you get to the checkout, make sure you put in the offer code GD10 to get yourself a little discount. Hell yeah. Save they, yourself a little yeah. money. Yep, and uh, you're supporting a great cause uh, with them. They do a lot of stuff. I know they just did something with... Um, uh, autism research, which is really cool. They got a shirt out Excellent. for that that supports autism research, I do believe. Um, really cool that they do that. Paul and I have talked about that before on the show. Not enough, uh, but we'll get there. We'll have to go back to that episode yeah. and you know, do an episode on that and how much it can benefit that community. Maybe we can find somebody that has, you know, firsthand knowledge. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. We don't know much, as usual. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, second up is uh, Tap Tape. Um, I got a beautiful picture of that dude's family. Did you get that? I did. Yeah. It, I you, told him that was the, the most hell? picture I've seen. The hell? They're all in keys? The I'm, hell? I'm going to make my, I'm going to get so my adorable. Wife you, you should, so just so she can wear it. Yeah. yeah. Like you need this for this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that. She'll just borrow one of my wife's. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> You're good. Uh, my wife's got plenty and not going to slow down buying them of, of it, evidently. <laughs> yeah. So, good looking family. Yeah. Very good looking family yeah. and a great, you know, he just. He's doing the right thing and for the right reasons. For sure. So it's great tape. I use it. Uh, need to use it more. Paul, you got to coach me a little bit more on the taping with my fingers. Oh, yeah. You ruined I was watching you tape. I'm like. And oh, I gave the fuck up. God. I took it back off. I'm like, Paul's going to be mad at this. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. But now I, my fucking fingers hurt. I can, so. feel, I can feel my ears get hot when I was watching oh, yeah, you dude. do that. Why was, didn't you jump in, asshole? <sighs> True friends help out. <laughs> Big assholes don't. <laughs> Where well, do you fit? Well. <laughs> You're supposed to be my friend, Paul. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate you all the time. Does that count? No. No. Well, no. Sorry. No. You live next to me. <laughs> You're screwed. I know. It's terrible. Yeah. You don't get to go in my pool. <clears throat> it's my pool. 
<laughs> but yeah, anyway, get yourself some tap tape. So save your digits. Um, use our uh, link on our website, I do believe. Um, please. We have one. I think so. I actually have. Didn't you put at one on there? I maybe. Yeah, probably. you did. You did. If all else fails, go to Amazon. Buy it on Amazon. Well, he all wanted to see how. Like, he's like, oh, you guys should uh, use Amazon to track how much you guys are selling for me. I'm like, I don't know how. I don't. I, well, I know how, we're and I think that. you did it. I think you did because you used a link from Amazon, and if it comes from our site, but okay. It, to be fair, I did that. Oh, that's valid. That yeah. may not work at all. Right? Yeah. There's an yeah. issue. Why don't you just chalk us up for like pff, two rolls a week <laughs> that we helped out with? <laughs> Boom. Recorded. <laughs> um, but, we, we make us, um, no, we make you feel good about yourself. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Our, that's our job. You're awesome. We're your uh, nice new truck, douchebag. Oh, you got a new truck? Already? Yeah, yeah. Did you see that bitch? No. That's a fucking nice damn truck. I heard he was getting one. Yeah, he got one. Nice. It's super sweet. I'm jealous. Yeah, it should be. Um, your car has a bunch of lights on it. And it's all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, mine's broken. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, but no, check it out on Amazon. Leave a great review because it's a great product. Reviews help. Um, so y'all know. Yep, just had another one of our, just last night, uh, Eric walked up to me and goes, can I use the link to Amazon to get the tape? Because I, I really need the tape. <laughs> um, yes. I think. We may or may <laughs> not get credit for it. But you we, can use we really, the link. If the link works, then use the link. I don't know. Maybe maybe he wants more proof of why to get rid of us. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, don't use our link. Fuck that, dude. Right. Let him be in, He can be in the dark. <laughs> uh, but no, definitely get the tape. We love that shit. Um, he's actually supporting. Both the last two sponsors are supporting the contest we have. I'll put out a little release here pretty soon. Um, Paul and I just haven't decided what uh, Al's going to, from uh, Top Mount's going to donate for the contest, but uh, we do know what... Uh, he could donate me a hat like you have that he won't make No, me. no, he won't make you one because then it won't get to our um, our listener because you'll fucking steal it just like you tried stealing mine. Oh, yeah, I would definitely steal it. Yeah, you're an asshole. True. You don't care about our listeners. I care about my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I give up all of our listens for one hat. Don't do that. All right. Next up, hey, if you're in the greater Grand Rapids area, you're thinking about trying some jiu-jitsu, maybe your kids want to try jiu-jitsu, Black Lion Academy is the place to go. Hell yes. Mostly because we're there and we're fun. Yeah, fuck everybody else. (laughs) We're fun as hell. Now the kids' class is getting big. They're having a lot of fun. Yeah, you helped out with coaching that the other day, so that's pretty cool. Maybe you'll get a run into a grappling dad screwing up your kid's journey. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, kids like it when I'm uh, kicking them around on the mat. Yeah, yeah. Sure yeah, of it. Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Ben was there helping out. Then his wife ran the other two classes because Chad Palmeroy, our head coach. Was he sick? He was. Um, he had, what was it? The man flu? The, no, like his whole family has it, so Ooh. it's real. Oh, so, yeah. like, <laughs> it's not, not man him. flu. Yeah. It's not man flu. It's real flu. Yeah. Like, they were dying all at their home. So, yeah, thankfully, he stayed the fuck home. Yeah, yeah, don't come to the gym with that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's just all I'm saying is we got great coaches as backup. I mean, our two main coaches are out. Justin had a baby. Congratulations. Yeah, good job. Um, I'm sure it came out with dreads, and it's beautiful as all hell. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just got dreaming about uh, Justin again. My bad. Hmm. And, uh, Easy to do. Yep. Uh, so, and Chad was out. So we, and uh, Jesse's never there. Can't be there on Mondays because of work and uh, family obligations. Jesse, quit your job. Yeah. What Problem the fuck, solved. dude? Yeah. Run it. Uh, but uh, we had Morgan who ran two great back to back classes. Super fun. Straight ankle locks um, that were very pertinent to the competition that we're running up with, which has a lot of white belts. Mm-hmm. And that's the one ankle lock they can do. Um, so it was great. Really good information. And then went through uh, uh, the. What a back attack sequence that uh, Croyler ran through um, at a few of our seminars out east. Fucking awesome, by the way. Was this dude yeah, was, Dan? Dan yeah. nearly shit himself because he was just sitting there, just like everybody else around us. Goes, oh, this changed my whole game. It was so it, dude, it was awesome. so much fun because yeah. I had done it so many times. I was comfortable. It's not like I'm a master at it at all. It's just I've done it a bunch before. Right. I've seen it. So I was showing uh, Dan. I was Dan's partner. Sweaty son of a bitch. I thought I sweat a lot. That motherfucker was like leaking on me. <laughs> it was not cool. Uh, but uh, he, I, I was showing him the, the part of it is having your chin position, your ear to ear. Big deal. Okay. And he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. It's amazing. I go, but watch. I go, 
and I lifted my chin off his off of his shoulder and went off ear to ear just about an inch. I go, now turn. Turns almost immediately. I'm like, there you go, fucker. <laughs> yeah. And he just went to him again and goes, oh. <laughs> it's the coiler sound, by the way. It's now a sound effect. I'm going to make a ringtone out of that shit. Nice. People's minds being yeah. blown. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter what level you're at. He did it from white belt all the way to black. Nice. So. Speaking of Croiler. Hey. Talk about him a little bit. I love that guy. Um, You know firsthand. I these do. seminars. Oh, my God, Legit. people. Dude, I went through four straight, and good Lord, you people need to have him there. He literally systematically breaks down a move, oh, God, to its fucking finest parts and builds it back up right in front of you. It's crazy. Got to you. If you guys haven't had a seminar by him, or you guys have a coach out there, that it doesn't matter if it's Gracie School. It doesn't matter any of that because he teaches his own way, and it's amazing. So if you guys have the chance, definitely have him out. I will tag the fuck along. <laughs> <laughs> so you just Let you know you're gonna be his uh, <laughs> seminar groupie now. Yeah, what? A, just his, I'm just his fanboy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. But yeah. Uh, Sign up for a private lesson. Uh, get yourself a seminar. Go Elkhart, to one of the seminars. Indiana, yeah. Check them out. Uh, unbelievable. You guys will not regret it, and the money invested is well spent. Excellent. Hey, so before we start the pro tip, we got a, an email that I want to... Oh, oh, hold on. I got something negative to go on first. Oh. Well, <clears throat> go ahead and do that then. I'll just wait. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and clear Faded my throat. Um, the so, Great Northeast Podcast. Actually, I don't know if Jay's a problem or even the Riddler out there. Uh, but I will say this, George, George, George seems to have a little bit against us. Um, he kind of keeps telling people that, uh, you know, we're dragging them down to our level. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, did you happen to read that thread last night on Facebook? So wait, he said he's, we're dragging them down. To we're dragging our level. everyone down. Yeah. Not just them, just everyone that listens to our show. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the problem. So far. I don't see it either, but he said it as a negative. Oh, <laughs> so he's not wrong, but it's the way his attitude about yeah, his it. His attitude gets about I it you. sucks. I got you. I... <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> so we, we did it though, right? It's working. Oh, yeah. The dragging of people. Oh, we're dragging everyone with us. Perfect. Ask Dave. Dave was standing up for us. I was going to say something, make some jokes, and Dave's, <laughs> Dave's on there going, no, they're really good. <laughs> no, What the fuck? <laughs> no, that's not how this works, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know him. It's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Evidently, I, I like abuse. Oh, eh, whatever. But no, they, they're great guys. Uh, if you guys want to follow something fun, uh, follow the competition between us and the Great Northeast Podcast. Yeah, yeah they're the, uh, the <laughs> second best uh, BG podcast. Wow, you're right giving now. them yeah. second. I don't even put them there. No, no, no not anymore. Because uh, not after that, then... <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm bitter. <laughs> I just want to give him something to grasp at that's just out of reach. You well, know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, oh, I'm almost, oh. I'm almost first. But no, 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 you're not. No, you're not even close. Like, when I look behind me, all I see is black. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no one. Especially you. Is that because he choked you unconscious or what? No. Not at all. <laughs> hey, I had to hold that dude up, okay, to be in the picture. That was a great picture. That dude. Was... And by the way, I've said it before. George and Amanda, everybody at Port City is awesome. I just love talking shit. Yep. You were raving about him. So. Yeah, I was. So they're great school, great people, um, and he's a lot of fun. He takes a good joke, and he uh, obviously gives one prick <laughs> our kind of people yep we perfect. like him so check out their podcast and come back to the better one yeah yeah do that there yeah, you go yeah no hate just uh you know <laughs> hate yeah it's vitriol you whatever. can hate a little cool. feel free excellent all right so we got an email and there's a little bit of a all right i'll get into it all right so it came to our complaint form right <laughs> <laughs> i like our complaint form yeah. so the complaint is on a serious note and i'm like oh already it's, it's whoa it's, whoa yeah. Wrong podcast. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, all right, I'll, I'll read it, but... All right, words. What's up, guys? I wanted to take a moment to talk about two things, and then I will go back to fart jokes and dick pics. Start with the dick pics always. Just No, pro just tip. send that shit to Paul. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> My fiance had the chance to use some of her BJJ skills outside the gym. Already scary shit. No, hold now, on real oh. quick, though. Let's go on a light note before you get into the deep shit. I just want to mention our wonderful, our wonderful, that he's bullies who we helped <laughs> keep his wife engaged. Ah, so yeah, I, yeah. I mean, his fiance. So our wonderful tips obviously work because she's doing BJJ now. 
You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> nope. Look at that. We're uh, look we're at us go bringing families closer <laughs> together. It's what we do Complete here on the Grab and Dad's podcast. <laughs> All right. My fiance was doing in-home health care. The other day, she took some of her clients and staff to the store to get some supplies for the house. As they were walking across to the parking lot, they heard two shots ring out. My fiance noticed a beat up van full of guys looking around and looking sketchy. One of them asked her what she was looking at. And she said, a bunch of guys up to no good. Now, let me stop right there. Don't do that. Yeah. Just no eye contact. That's the way to go. That's how I made it through high school. No eye contact. What's going on, kid? I don't know. Something just completely... Whoa. Garage bands. Okay, it's still there. Yeah? Go back to reading. All right. Uh, let's see. He said a bunch of guys up to no good. At this point, a couple of the men exited the vehicle, and my fiance told her staff and clients to go into the store. Um, Pro tip, she probably should have went in with them. No, no, no. She was. Read. Hold on. As my fiance was walking away, oh, I got you. She, lo- <laughs> she um, was going I'm into ke- the store, I'm, Paul. I'm keeping up now. She looked back to try to get a license plate number, and one of the men grabbed her hand and started pulling her toward the van. That's scary. Holy shit. Shit. Dude, I literally, my heart, like, kind of got, like, racing a little bit yeah. while reading it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like this email. She was able to break loose. And the man then grabbed her by the wrist. Again, she was able to break free and proceed to field goal the man's junk and run into the store to call the police. That's not jujitsu. She broke free, though. Like, she yeah. could have used jujitsu yeah, to break exactly. free. Oh, yeah. She must yeah. have. The field goal, that's just like... Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's good that's shit. That's what that right is. There. That's that where I go. Yeah, you, you fight me. I'm kicking in the balls. Great dead square in him. My fiance started taking woman's self-defense at our gym about a month ago, and then she started into BJJ a couple weeks back. I am thankful she is learning skills that can help in very scary and dangerous situations such as this, and would encourage all women to find a program and or gym. Scary. Just Fuck fucking yes. scary. So, Unreal. So everybody thinks can't happen to me. Oh, everybody. everybody thinks that. Oh, yeah, you know? it's never going to happen. And that's a lot of the reasons why people don't sign up for it. Like, well, I'm not into it. I don't like to be around 20 people. It's just not my jam. It doesn't look any fun, and I'm relatively safe. Th- no. This Everything up to here was a relatively safe situation. You're going to the store to pick up some supplies, and nobody expects that kind of shit. No, to go not down. at all. But, damn, imagine if she didn't have the training or didn't know what to do. Even the, li- the least, like, that's the funny thing. You remember when we read, um, I think we read it on air, we listened to it, where they were calling any, like, an hour class of learning how to defend yourself is fucking worthless. You right. remember that? Yep, I do. So that was on another episode, and that's utter bullshit. Because guess what, you, of one class, you have more knowledge than you started with, yeah. right? And that one class that you're doing, ninety percent of the time, is going to be those basics like that: how to get your hand away when someone grabs it, mm-hmm. and not just it's going to be more than one. So let's work on a few. Fuck yeah, that's how most of them are. So guess what, one class will do you some good. Not only that, not enough, but it will do you some good. One class also might be the catalyst to get you to do more, more. classes. Yeah, so because even self defense is fun. It is, especially yeah. uh, for my my wife. Uh, aha moment for her and for Morgan uh, when she started with Chad was in basically a self defense. Hey, I'm on top. Of you look. You do this and this. You can get them off. You can literally roll them. So it was a trap and roll. Mm-hmm. Amazing, and. You know, blew her mind. She's like, holy shit, this guy that's, you know, 100 pounds more than me, I can get them all. I can roll over and be on top of him to get away. Unreal. My wife, same idea. First time she actually tossed a person that weighed. My wife weighs, what, 120? Maybe. <laughs> She's lanky. And she can toss a full-grown man. Blew her mind. She's like, well, I can do that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you most certainly can. It's legit, people. All right. On a completely different note, Paul style segue. Last podcast, a listener named James wrote in with a concern about getting back into BJJ at the age of 41. Yes, it can be scary, but I am 41 and just started a few months back and I am completely out of shape. That being said, I'm learning skills and making friends. I'm even getting some taps in here and there. I wish I had started BJJ much sooner. Sooner. Sure. I can't, I can't read listener <laughs> emails as well. Either. <clears throat> Check. Um, but I truly appreciate it now. James, the gym is a great place to sort of let go of everything else. When I am there, I don't think about bills, work, or anything other than training. It's like a bizarre Zen thing. Yeah, he said Zen. 
zen. No. Like Tai Chi push hands. He digs it. Guaranteed. Fuck you. <laughs> Additionally, in a good gym, the people there start to become sort of an extended family. Anyway, I hope that helps to maybe calm some anxiety you may have. Well, dads, thanks for letting me chime in. Respect. Aboli. Thanks, homie. That was a good email. Appreciate it. Yeah, I um, love it. Tell your wife to stay safe. That is scary as shit. And, and way to go. Yeah, you gave me heart palpitations. Yeah, by don't do email. that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just, maybe Maybe start the email with, it all ended okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm too old for that I, shit. I need reverse <laughs> chronological order. Yeah. Don't do that to my old self. <laughs> Not cool. Um, but yeah, that's fucking unreal. Right. And also just touching on uh, James. Uh, where's the update, bro? What's yeah. up? Yeah, let us know. We give a shit. Give more emails. We care. Yes. And uh, I think a lot of what James was dealing with was uh, being in pain. Um, make your own Theragun at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do that. Paul showed that shit online. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, befriend a doctor, uh, get hooked on Norco. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Comes after Paul. That. What? Paul. That's funny. That's, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> For sure, don't do that. Uh, or whatever you want to do. All right, adult. pro tip me. All right, pro tip. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, the GDs asked me to discuss the difference between applied pressure and huge dude smothering. This, I am sure, will ruffle some feathers as some of you may not understand what I am trying to say or will take offense to some of it, which makes for a good podcast. Uh, make it. Yeah, it's kind of like the gee versus no gee. You're like, oh, I want to take a side. It was one of her best episodes. <laughs> You're just like, oh, yeah, I either hate it or love it. That's no, it, it's, but the only problem was the episode was kind of sided, a <laughs> little lopsided. Oh, for sure. Because you just babbled about how much you hate it. That's <laughs> ah, because I was right. Here we go. Jack off. Difference between applied pressure and big guy smother. First, I want to define... What is applied pressure? So for that, we will define pressure in simple terms. Um, one, they're not that simple. Um, no. I only had one. I don't have a two. Yeah, no, it's not simple, dick. <laughs> Force is energy being applied to an object in which unopposed will cause the object to change direction. <laughs> Are you following so far? You trying to keep up? No, I just gave up. Oh, well. Like, wow, those, those are science and math terms. Are people I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be helpful helpful for the people that have a um, physics degree. Does it make sense? Well, no, just smarter than us really uh, probably true, hits it true, home. True. They, they've read some Stephen Hawking, <laughs> just or not all of it. Pay attention in school <laughs> at all, <laughs> right? They did any math whatsoever. Uh, we didn't do any of that stuff. No, in school. we did no. not. Stay in school, kids. Class clowns. Uh, Ooh, it pays off. You know, actually, I stayed in school. I just didn't pay attention. So while you're there, you do your best. Oh, yeah, yeah see what happens. Don't be like us. Number two, pressure, therefore, is force being applied to an object over a unit area in a specific direction. Check. (laughs) (laughs) Got it. This means what then? Oh, I'm so glad he's going to (laughs) explain. Please do. It means that in order to apply more pressure, we must increase force applied or decrease the surface area in which we are applying it, as this will focus the energy into a more particular spot. That's a big deal. Uh, it is. We learned that. It's really easy to learn on uh, Neon Belly. <laughs> That's where I was going. Yeah. Uh, Chad and Corler both did the same demonstration at different times. Where, yes. <clears throat> where if you put your whole shin over somebody and kind of pull up and push down, there's a lot of pressure. But when you start to like put just the point of your knee on somebody, yeah. well, then you're focusing all the same amount of weight into a smaller surface area. So More it, pressure. It hurts substantially. Substantially more. Yeah, it fucking hurts. Yeah. It sucks. So there's a little tidbit there. All right. So more force equals more pressure if affected surface area remains the same. If surface area increases in proportion to the increase in force, pressure does not change. The same goes for same level of force, but a decreased surface area equals an increase in pressure. Yeah. So what we're going to do, just so you're aware, we're going to start it off. We're going to put the notes on the website because so you <laughs> you're going to want to read this. I guarantee you that. It's kind of like the uh, building your game episode Yeah. or it gets a little bit like uh, you got to read it again. Yeah. So yeah, no yeah, worries. Sure. So tomorrow, as a matter of fact, uh, 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 well, by the time well, you're putting yeah. some pressure on your, oh by no, tomorrow's you great this. by yeah. Friday. Yeah. By the Perfect. time, by the time you read this, it'll be up. Or read this. It. Yeah. And I just settle this down. Not Kip. A book, settle down. Off. Settle down. <laughs> All right, he's going to try to clarify it even more now. So one, force times surface area equals pressure. Two, more force times same surface area equals more pressure. Three, more force times 
bigger surface area equals same pressure as number one. Four, more force times smaller surface area equals much higher pressure. Five, force times bigger surface area equals less pressure. And finally, six, force times smaller surface area equals more pressure. Okay. Got got it? it yes, sense? actually I do. Oh, good. Hey, he even kept keep, keep even kept kept up. Kept up, you fucked hard. Yes, I know. <laughs> I said it wrong, and I'm going with it. <laughs> Fuck it, this is my word. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, let's discuss applied pressure and big guy smother. Um, let me pause just for a minute there, and I want to talk about something. A lot of times, people will. So the reason I came up with the uh, podcast idea was twofold. One. I want to learn how to do the pressure thing, and I'm trying to get a, uh, my head wrapped around it more because I really don't think I get it fully. So I'm trying to get the nuance of okay. what applied pressure is compared to some big dude just smushes me. Like, I want to feel like a big dude that can smush you as a tiny little fella. Yes. Because people can do that. Oh, I just yeah. I just don't understand the nuance of it, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I wanted to know for a, for a personal level, and I think it's good for everybody else to know. But two... A lot of people bitch and complain that he just smashes me. Yeah. So there's a difference between getting smashed correctly and getting mm-hmm. smashed incorrectly. And yes. so you can't really complain <laughs> unless you know the difference. And a lot of people don't know the difference because not a lot of people do it correctly. Yeah, that's true. Most people, uh, not most, but a good portion of people end up some other you know, and the smothering aspect of it, and yeah, it sucks. Well, the easy one to do if you're if you're large, if you just weigh a lot, yes, it's it's easy because well, you're big. And two, if you're really strong, you can force it with athleticism, which with a is lot really of people easy. do. A lot, which of, a lot people of people do. do. Um, even a lot of small guys try that. Small girls and guys try that. Um, yeah, a lot of new people. Like your your wife is actually not doing that anymore, but she used to do the same thing, like grab and just yeah, like, and just, just pull just, as hard as she could. Yeah. Exactly. So she's trying to create that pressure using her small one hundred twenty pound pound frame. You know what I mean? No, it's yeah. No matter how much muscle you right. put on it, and the funny thing is, is it goes to kind of his formula too. Is uh, well, one of the eighteen that he just gave us. Uh, not confusing. Thanks, Werther. And <laughs> uh, is. When you do that, for the most part, you're not able to pinpoint where you're putting that pressure. And that's exactly. basically what what real pressure comes down to is focusing to a certain point rather than over a large area because that large area is not going to feel the same pressure. So when you're pulling like that, all you're doing is pulling your chest against theirs. And you know, there you go. You're All the energy spread out. Right. So, fuck, it's not doing anything. And we're going to get to a little bit later. He actually talks about it of... There's a difference between holding somebody down in the same spot for five minutes and using pressure to make sure that you can't move out of the position. Does that make sense? Like uh, you can't escape. So the way I see this is wrestle fucking <laughs> <laughs> versus not wrestle fucking. Is that correct? That, you know what? Yeah, pretty, I couldn't say it better myself. Pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. All right. Moving on. All right. Now, with that in mind, let's discuss applied pressure and big guy smother. One, applied pressure is a purposeful application of concepts as described above. There are three types of applied pressure. A, focused pressure. B, wet blanketing. And C, stickiness. Ah, fun stuff. So what I'm trying Mm -hmm. to learn about uh, is focused pressure, wet blanketing, and stickiness. And it's really hard to wrap my head around Especially <laughs> the stickiness, which I think will have to be its own episode because it's different. So what I'm talking about is quit chewing into the mic. <clears throat> what I'm talking about is uh, people that are smashing you from on top, right? So the difference difference between getting smashed and proper pressure. Fair enough. So two, big guy smother or muscle head smash is a physical attribute based approach to buffer for the lack of understanding on applied pressure, much like trying to. Sp- Speed up or outmuscling your partner is nothing but a buffer of poor technique. So is the big guy smother or a muscle head smash. Now, I will say this is mostly due to ignorance. Uh, yeah. Most people don't really understand pressure and they assume it's a size or strength thing, as I did for a long damn time. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, for cause, sure. Because when I say people, 
I'm included in people. Yes, yeah, I thought it was just because they were really strong or a lot bigger than me. I'm like, it's so much pressure, but it's because they are that, not yes. because they're doing proper jujitsu. I didn't have an understanding of that until it yeah, was neither broken, did I. Yeah, until yeah. it was broken down. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but you almost need a really small person to do it for you to go. Oh, it's not about size. Oh, who's or strength. that little fucker at Croilers that does that? Oh, Chris. Shit. Yeah. Is it Chris? Little Chris? Yeah. Yes. The How? brand new purple belt? No. Damn it. Are you talking about Dr. Howe? He's not little. He's average. No. Yeah. <laughs> In the nicest way. You better fucking watch that. That dude will murder you. <laughs> but there's... Oh God, I can't remember his name. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, he's smaller than me. And holy shit, he feels so heavy. Heavy in quotations. It's like... Oh, no. <laughs> you really know how to use your pressure. Nice. It, crazy nice. Crazy. That's what we're talking about. All right. Yes. So, yeah, uh, they assume it's a size or strength thing, as most people do, as I did. Most people don't understand it well enough to explain. And if you are thinking you understand it, you may. However, keep in mind, if everyone listening truly understood it, then we would have thousands of Roger Gracies around instead of just one. Hodger, you fucked It depends her. on who you ask, actually. It's Hodger. So Nick Gregoriadis is a, is a Roger Gracie black belt, and he says Roger Gracie. Ah, uh, well, it's, so, it, every time I hear yeah. it, it's Hodger. Yeah, well, every time I hear Let's it, it's Let's ask Croiler. How about that? Let's see who knows. I think I did ask him. He said whatever. Yeah, it probably is whatever. Yeah. He yeah. says that for most shit. <laughs> it's like when it comes to the pronunciation, he's like, sure, that works. Yeah. <laughs> you can't mispronounce his name. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, you don't see a lot of people using it in uh, world-class levels, so... It yeah. must not be that well known. Um, so let's now talk about applied pressure and its categories. One, focused pressure. A, focused pressure is exactly as the name implies. It's the ability to increase the amount of pressure you are exerting on the opponent in a specific spot at any given time for a specific purpose. Neon belly! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Example, pinning an opponent's leg via the stapling concept is nothing more than a modified application of focus pressure. Or, knee on bellying, KOB, someone to ensure they aren't moving so that you can attack with ease. Look at you, Kip. Call Boom! It. Call it before you've seen it, because I know you don't read this shit. Actually, I did not. I <laughs> know uh, you don't. Or, increasing the amount of pressure to an opponent's specific body part to allow for pivoting off it. I will not explain how to do this in practice as this must be felt in order to be truly understood. That's the problem with learning about pressure over yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's you can hear it over and over and you can be like, yeah, yeah, no. Well, it's kind of like, yeah, because I've been yeah. trying, so I've been trying to understand it via text, right? Mm -hmm. For the last literally month, I've been yeah. texting Crowder like, all right, it, break it down for me. And he's been doing a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm starting to wrap my head around it, but like, to his point, like, unless I feel it, I don't yeah. think I'm ever going to really get it. Yeah, so um, real quick story. Uh, he was running a seminar. Guy basically asked that. Essentially, I forget what it was about. It was a very specific section, but he broke it down to pressure. He goes, so if I'm this way, and he lays his chest on him. Or no, he puts his knee on him in his shin. He goes, mm -hmm. okay, this is pressure, right? And he goes, and then the crew looks at him and he goes, no. He turns his knee up, like just t basically takes his toes off the ground, mm -hmm. which puts his knee more into his solar plexus and goes, now, how's that? And the guy could barely breathe. Right. <laughs> so he went from same pressure, same effort. Coiler has one hand on his knee just to balance. That's it. Not pulling. And goes from a, having his knee, toes on the ground, which put his shin across up to the knee to taking his toes off the ground. That was it. And the dude went from, I'm cool, to, I want to die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Starts calling for his mom. <laughs> Applied pressure. <laughs> Think being a needle or a stack <laughs> or a stake being hammered in by Thor onto the opponent. He snuck in his nerdisms. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Having, uh, having a Thor hammered into you, that would... Uh, a Thor hammered into you? A Thor hammer hammered. Thor a hammer hammered. stake hammered in by Thor. Yeah. Z Whatever. Hammer. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you read it next time, fucker. All right. Yeah, so anyway, there's uh, there's one. Number two is wet blanketing. So this is this is kind of what I've been trying to have fun with lately. This has been my go-to try out stuff, like yeah, my new yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, the idea of wet blanketing comes from the understanding of how to apply focused pressure to specific areas only when needed, meaning 
You aren't trying to pin your opponent down or increase pressure to cause immobility. Rather, you are accepting and absorbing their energy so that you don't become stiff and redirecting that energy as force somewhere else that benefits you. That somewhere else is wherever is necessary to hinder the opponent's movement so that they cannot escape. Think being underwater and trying to come up for air and having a heavy wool blanket being thrown on you. You can push as much as you want, but that wet blanket just glues itself to you and absorbs that energy, hindering your movement. And that's exactly the fuck what it feels like when I'm rolling through yeah. yeah, it does. It's crazy. And, uh, yeah, because everyone thinks it's it's a size thing. It's not. Right. At all. Like with him, it's it's so weird feeling. So you got to learn a little bit about that on your I did. on your tour, I did. and we were working on that uh, last week a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and what an amazing difference between because we could because yeah. we know what we were doing, yeah. right? Oh so yeah, we for could, sure. We could do what we were doing and then escape them out, and then we're like, all right, now do this wet blanket technique. Yep. And it's like that is a whole new animal. It's yeah. a whole new thing, like side control, you know, whatever yeah. you're in. It's just oh yeah, and we're not good at it. Fuck but, no. But just having the idea and trying it, it's still. <laughs> Us being shitty at wet blanketing is still better than what we were, air quotes, good at doing before. Which, and it's almost uh, the complete opposite, which makes you feel even worse because you're like, oh, man, well, this worked. Well, what you were doing was stiffening up and basically leaving yourself open to all kinds of shit. It's yeah. just you got away with it. <laughs> so so here's how I was getting away with it because I thought I was doing proper pressure, right? Because I can I can hold a lot of people down in my side control. Yeah, for sure. But I I can because I I have an understanding of what they're going to do and kind of mm-hmm. how you know what way their head's got to go and hips and yeah. head and controlling that. So so I get some fundamental concepts. I'm not inept, but I would be able to um, speedily base out when they exploded. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, now I can just go with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I can absorb their energy as they're doing it rather than having to beat them athletically with speed yeah. or hold them with my strength and power yep. to keep the same position. It's it's amazing. And then, like I said, I, I lose the position occasionally because I'm still not used yeah, to the yeah, feel, yeah. Mm-hmm. but um, it's getting better. Oh, yeah, because yeah. uh, the real strong guys, like even you, because you are quite strong. That's so weird for you to say. Because... But you, you you use your strength on me more than you use anyone else. You just laugh at me. Like, You're using strength. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck her. Yeah, you know, we weren't even rolling. I was just fucking around because I was happy to be rolling with you. You're like, you're using I'm like, I know, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm like, you're such a fucker. <laughs> we got to roll a few times. It was something. fun, yeah. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, I got to finally understand what the hell you were talking about with your iron bar because you couldn't explain it. Fuck well, you, no, dude. Well, I wasn't picking up what you were putting down. You know, I'm yeah. like, oh, well, so once you did, I'm you like, just kept looking ah. at me like that won't work. I'm like, but it does. So, <laughs> so it's funny because I'm, I'm, I was trying not to be rude, but you could probably tell that I'm. Yeah, going, yeah, yeah. You're like, no, that I doesn't. Just, that's fucking garbage. Yeah, I'm, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And then once you did, I'm like, oh, I see what you're trying to do there. That's you know, I had to feel it. Yeah, but, and it works. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's cool. It's my own game though. It's ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it could be shored up. Like we found a couple things that we could fix. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I sent you a video on something yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was based off what you did. Yeah. But I think it would fix the problem that you had on me. Yeah, where you were getting too far out. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. now I'll just do yeah. this. Yeah. So now I'm fucked. Yeah. Perfect. It's I, just, great. <laughs> I just I just myself. I was showing I was showing Matt um, wrestler just some stuff because he was mm-hmm. tired. He was I'm just tired today, and I'm like, well, I don't want to roll anymore right now. Not roll, but uh, do takedowns. Because it, it was bothering me already. Right. Even being nice and friendly. I'm like, oh, look, my knee still buckles. Sweet. But anyways, <laughs> That's always funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, ben was trying to do an ankle lock joking around, and every time he pulled on it, it would go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that was my knee. I'm like, ooh, do it again. It didn't hurt. It just sounded really weird. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like ugh. <laughs> so after like three times, we stopped. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> we, we, we might want to stop before yeah, that something might, does That might happen. be actually yeah. hurting something. I don't know. But I was showing him, and I realized like he pulled up he pulled his arm out and i go because <gasps> i ended up with right where i wanted to that what do they he calls it a shotgun arm bar ah yeah yeah and i was yeah. like oh! i didn't do it but i was like oh it worked i found something <laughs> i was just showing this dude and it worked <laughs> nice. i wasn't even trying so anyways yeah go ahead yeah right. uh number three is stickiness a the idea of applied pressure from the bottom as the bottom guy there are technically two ways of applying this of applying this concept. However, we are not talking about the bottom guy, so I won't dwell on this too much. But think of one as Mjolnir, the Thor's hammer, as I say it. I'm not a nerd. Let's move on. Just, come on, help me out. How do you say it? No. 
You can't do it either, can no, you? No, because I don't know the word. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, we're going to catch so much shit yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun. This, I actually yeah. would probably disagree with you if I knew what it was. I don't, yeah. but still. Yeah, Thor, uh, I think of one as uh, Thor's hammer. <laughs> Check. And the other <laughs> as molasses. Um, see, I know what molasses is, but in a lot of other people won't. So if, you're far, if you're a farmer, you sure know what that is. You're slower than molasses in January. My mom always used to say, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> it means it's thick and gooey." Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they get it in my shirt. Sure. Now let's talk about big guy smother or muscle head smash. <clears throat> That's what I think most people are feeling when they say yeah, yeah, yeah. he's smashing me. All right, one big guy smother. A this is when a big guy who outweighs you just lays on you. He isn't necessarily heavy. There's just a lot of them to move around and out from under. This is not pressure. This is just sheer size holding you down. (laughs) We've all been there. Yeah. Laying on top of you only works for them because of their size. It's not that you can't move like in the applied pressure, but rather it's just that there's so much of them to move. I think people assume this this is pressure. It's not. In fact, most big guys don't know how to apply pressure. They don't have to because their size buffers their shitty (laughs) pressure game. (laughs) Say how it is, Crayler. The little guy that feels like a ton of bricks is the one that applies good pressure. Or the guy that makes you feel as if your soul is escaping your body. That guy can apply pressure. Think of this as an oversized teddy bear that is too big for you to handle. So yeah, so some people are just very large human beings. Yeah, and just when by they ro- yeah, and yeah, they're not applying pressure correctly because they don't understand what it is. They're just yeah, they're heavy. Yeah, you know, if I put enough yeah. weight on you, it's just just heavy. <laughs> it's pressure, <clears throat> right? <laughs> In their mind, <laughs> right? So yeah, a lot of people when they talk about it, that's that's what they're talking about. He's huge and he squashed me. Yeah. All right. Number two is the muscle head smash. This was my go-to. In my early days. In super douche mode. Yeah, super douche parody. <laughs> hey, that's the guy that's strong enough to squeeze and hold things tightly. Tight with a good squeeze does not equate to pressure. Now, to be fair, I still do a bit of that because I didn't know any better. I'm, try- I'm trying to get over it, and it's not easy because I, ha- <laughs> I have a lot of years of bad habit to break now. Yeah. But, yeah, well, hey, knowing is half the battle, as they say. And- Seventy yeah. percent. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> There's a difference between the guy that feels like he's going through you versus the guy that can hold you in place by squeezing you. Think how wrestlers feel versus a good jujitsu guy feels. One is trying to force the squeeze. The other is like a boa constrictor. This too is improper application that is buffered by athleticism. Which one's which? <laughs> I bet you know. <laughs> this is <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Uh, uh, this is more of someone trying to be a vice or a clamp and squeeze you tight and hold on like an aggressive hug, where you should be more like an anaconda or a boa constrictor. Yeah, that's that's what I and a lot of other people do, uh, does. Do, do, <laughs> do's? We do's that. Best, pod, best you, podcast ever. You are just in rare form tonight. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes I think I should have a drink before I start just to loosen me up. I you know what I mean? Might. It's kind of like if I play pool. If I play sober, no good. If I get a little buzz, I'm like, hey, the balls are ready to go in. But then, you know, there's a point of no return where I start to get really sucky again. Well, well no. At that point, you just think you're doing good. Who gives a shit? <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. See. yeah it's, that's good logic right there. Yeah, it's good. But yeah, that's what I was doing. You know, side control, you get the uh, under the hook, you know, under, under the head, head. and yep. then you get under the arm, and you just like pull, and you like squeeze, and you, yep, push, yep. you know, put the, uh, what do they call it, the shoulder of justice right into the side of their jaw, mm-hmm. cross face them. And just hold, and they can't move. And every time they try to do something, you just apply more pressure. And you're just gassing all this shit. And by pressure, (laughs) I mean strength. Yeah, it's all strength. (laughs) Well, that's just it, too. It's all squeeze, not pressure. There's a difference. When people do that, to your point, they gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you you almost know, and uh, email me if I'm wrong, Croiler, if you're gassing out holding somebody down, it's strength. Yes. And if you're not, it's probably pressure if they can't move. Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably a good uh, um, milestone base if, if you're practicing this kind of thing. You know, if you're getting really tired, probably doing something wrong, talk to your coach. <laughs> <laughs> so, or ask us, we'll tell you. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got this. Clearly, yeah. I understand we all are of this fucking stuff. awesome yeah. at this game. This, this is funny because it's like I'm trying to teach something that I barely have an idea of how the concept works yet hey 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 if you don't tell people oh yeah we no, look smart this. no 
They aren't sitting. Hey, they don't roll with hey, us. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to using all my newfound knowledge <laughs> on a certain ale. Oh, it, oh, Mr. Oh, Top yeah. Mount. Oh, yeah. I feel he's going to beat me up, so I'm pretty much just going to start the roll by, like, punching him right in the nose. Oh, you know, we, we did a whole <laughs> video on, on how to start a proper roll. Just use all those ideas. I'll use all of them. Every one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to monkey jump. That's that's coming. Oh, and, I'll be, you fucking watch the video. Be aware. Uh, and, and, and you have already kind of softened him up to the fact that you're injured, so you could really oh, yeah, fake totally. the injury. I'll just I'll like, oh, limp in. Oh, and then be like, oh, you okay? Crunch. Oh, fuck it. I'll bring in crutches. Oh, I got a cane. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. We shouldn't do this on a podcast. Damn it. Uh, Poor planning. Uh, we, uh, maybe this can be like the following weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We'll save this one. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Last paragraph here. The problem with teaching or training applied pressure is that you will fail a lot until you understand it. Yes. This, yeah. This leads people to getting frustrated and buffering it with athleticism, as I still do. They, <laughs> I, I so try not to. They then get the desired effect. Because they have achieved the desired effect, they feel as if they understand pressure and they understand how to apply it, and they think they are good at it. God, that might be me. <laughs> I, I might be over there thinking, no, I'm getting good, bro. And, and he'll be up here going, no. Well, <laughs> well here's just no. Well, or you could be me. I'm the guy that, like, if I if I fuck up, I want people to capitalize on it. I really, because that's my game is I wait for fuck ups. That's I try to force you into screwing up or, or I try, not even force. I try to do things, just move until you screw up. Or I, you know, pressure you and try to make you screw up. Well, Whenever I'm pressuring improperly, <laughs> I usually get swept because I'm doing it wrong, and I let it go. I won't even base out. <laughs> it's like, fuck, yeah. I screwed that up. Yep, done you up. get top. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was all the time. It's like, damn, I did it last night. I'm like, Austin goes to roll me over. I'm like, that was my fault. Shit pressure. Yeah. You get top mount. <laughs> you deserve that, bro. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, he caught it, though. That wasn't taking anything that's away good. from Austin. Yeah. Good job, Osti. You suck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we hate you. <laughs> because they have achieved the desired effect, they feel as if they understand pressure and they understand how to apply and they think they are good at it. Yeah. However, very few people really do understand it. It is important that we remove our desire to win and focus on a desire to improve. Improving allows for growth. Proving limits growth. Ooh. Bam. Look at him go. Drops the mic. Yeah, we need to drop that. I don't like that. I don't like the mic drop thing anymore. No? Because if somebody dropped these mics, I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah, they're, they're a bit expensive. Yeah. I wouldn't drop my own mics. Yeah. We should so, get like a fake mic to drop. I, you know, I think I have shitty mics. No. Maybe? No. We have no? good mics. Maybe we can just hit the table. I think you bought drop. Yeah. <laughs> or just leave the room. I don't know. Stop <laughs> dropping mics. They're expensive, fuckers. Ask Hugo and his fucking snowball. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you damn snowball. Get rid of that son yeah. bitch. He's like, I use this. We're like, that shit. <laughs> so, so there's like whiskey snobs and there's like uh, microphone snobs. I think we became like microphone snobs. Not totally, because we still got economical equipment. Yeah, but you know, we also know good whiskeys that don't cost a whole lot either. That's too, fucking true. So. That's fucking true. Here go. Catch the fuck up. Yeah, come on, then. Greg, Stop. fix him. <laughs> Make him do it. <laughs> I love how that's how our whole conversation started. Set the fucking snowball in front of you. Stop making fun of my snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah. We looked at those and I was like, wow, I wouldn't use one of those. He goes like, I love this thing. <laughs> Not anymore. You don't. He, he, let's be honest, though. It doesn't sound that bad. No. He no, goes, it doesn't. doesn't sound that bad. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. She's <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> I love it. Uh, 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 love you, Hugo. So, yeah, that was kind of my... Uh, foray into pressure the proper way what do you think kippers no i liked it i did i did um i wish it wasn't so hard to understand it is um uh, maybe it's not maybe i was at home going um that's fucking easy yeah. stupid oh well to croiler's <laughs> point if it was there'd be a lot more hodger gracies out there hodger so Roger. I, think, I think we should all like look up some of his videos when he's on top and kind of see what he does um but to his point you have to kind of feel it too so well, it's a toughie. well, yeah, and uh, the funny thing is, is I'm sure Corolla gets a lot because he's a big dude. Um, and just for example, I know he probably does because we walked in and a guy saw him and goes, "Man, yeah, we get to see some big guy jujitsu." And Corolla's like, "Me and Morgan alone are going." Pfft. Yeah, 
<laughs> that dude plays two foot tall man mid freaking uh game. That's his shit is little man jujitsu. Yeah. So you're screwed. But I'm sure everyone thinks that with his pressure is he gets that sick pressure where you can't even move because that's the thing when he wants you to stop moving. You fucking stop moving. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you're on top side. <laughs> that's kind of the bummer about being Croyler, right? Oh you're God. so you're such a large individual that they might just assume that you you're holding them down I'm, with big man or strong man jujitsu yeah. and they don't understand what it is. Well and yeah, and they don't. And I feel I almost feel bad for him because like just like that. Oh look, big man jujitsu. Yeah. Like, no, no, that's the opposite of what that dude does. And He's like, he'll tell you he's not the strongest dude in the world at all. Like he doesn't lift weights to do this. He keeps in shape just by, you know, eating well and doing jujitsu. He doesn't lift weights to do it. So he's not the strongest dude you'll ever run into in a gym, especially for a guy his size. You'd think he'd just be a beast. I still bet you he'd out bench press me though. If he I, doesn't bench press, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither that of shit us do. That shit sucks. That's so. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you probably do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, he's, yeah, I'm sure he's plenty strong. You go, Croiler. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, everyone just assumes that's what he's doing. No. But it's so weird when uh, – explain it when he's not, when you're on the ground then, people. Because he literally – you'll be side control, and all of a sudden, you can't fucking move. Like, he puts his hand in one place, holds down – like, just grips on another, not holding you. You're like, fuck, where do I go? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> it's weird. Just by connections. Yeah, when I was uh, when I was there for the team training, I I had him start both. What with, are those things? Right, you you wouldn't know, <laughs> would you? So yeah, I'd, I'd I'd start on top side control, so that I could feel what he's talking about with the stickiness, and then I would, well, inevitably end up on bottom, and oh god, man, it's just it's hard to describe the feeling of just being stuck like no it doesn't yeah. matter what you do yeah, it's weird. you're stuck and the more you move it's like the more you get pinned down it's like fucking rolling with quicksand it's bullshit yeah so if they <laughs> if they melt caramel over you <laughs> during the roll and it starts to harden <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like but it never gets completely like glass <laughs> like because like, yeah. then you might be able to get out no and it's one of those things where you know i've rolled with you know big strong people before and when I'm done, I can still breathe. And it's like, oh, that was a hard roll. And it was hard, you know, because they were very large and they yeah, might have yeah. been good. But when I'm done rolling with Croiler, I'm exhausted. Like I've got nothing left to give. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not trying to spaz out. You know, I'm trying to keep calm. But no, it's but just that I, it doesn't matter what I do. And I feel like I have to use strength to get out. So, I'm, you know what I mean? It's just... It's, it, it doesn't... It doesn't... I'm just so stuck. It doesn't matter how I move. But it comes down to his pressure. It's just... Yeah. Damn it. And it's like the wet blankie. It's like every time I do you I say to, wet blankie? I think you said wet blankie. Yeah, it's like my wet blankie. That's my newer for us. I like it better. Yes, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> wet blankie jujitsu. I like it. <laughs> Gym name. Anybody wants to steal it, feel free. <laughs> you don't understand until you feel it. <laughs> A wet blankie, huh? Ooh, sounds tough. Savages. <laughs> awesome <laughs> do it yeah but when i get wet blanket you know it's just uh it's rough man <laughs> Woo, hate it it's just rough yeah when he's showing you that uh the wet blanket uh whatever you call that technique uh, sucks because you just can't fucking move and then yeah. then you can move but you're freaking you're you're uh <laughs> you're bridging, all your framing, your fucking everything just yeah. does nothing. Well, so my frames I just get stuck to me, right? Yeah. So uh, then, then all of a sudden, I can't move my arm. Like my frame yeah, yeah, was yeah, a frame yeah. trying to release the pressure, but then all of a sudden, he just kind of moves just right, and now my and then he moves my frame, and it's stuck you want to know my how? Body. Yeah, because you want to know what he, he. One thing he really preached while we were out was um, frames are good one direction. They'll uh, stop yeah. one direction. So they're they're built they're set they're designed, a frame is set up to stop one direction. As soon as you make it move another direction, that frame is useless. Useless, right. So that's what he does to you. It's just the slightest like, oh I just shifted. Oh fuck, I'm choking myself in my arm. <laughs> yeah. I think me and a lot of other people's would it's like uh head on shit, right? So yeah, you yeah, put yeah. pressure here and I put pressure back. Yep. And that's not what this is about. This is about absorbing and moving and going with stuff. It's a big deal. It's kinda like Tai Chi push hands. Just saying. No, 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 no. Terrible. I just, I just wanted to ensure and ask. This you is useful. This is that. useful. That is useless. 
<laughs> oh, you bastard. Uh, you haven't brought that shit up in a while. No, no, I just can't wait yeah, for the Yeah, I started to like you a little uh, bit more. Fun. Not anymore. So, so uh, uh, I was yeah, I'm talking to Croyler about it uh, this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, y'all. And uh, he was saying that, you know, he doesn't actually use it all the time because people don't like <laughs> <laughs> don't like it <laughs> and be you know and he's he's good at it and that's his thing right like he's i don't want to say mastered it but you know for all intents and purposes Pretty right he's mastered close. pressure so he's like if, you know if he does it 100 percent, he's just going to end up breaking people's ribs and stuff so he doesn't utilize it as much as he could no. now me i need to get proficient at it so i just don't lose my position all the time so uh, i was telling him i can't i can't scramble anytime i get in a scramble um, I give it up immediately because I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, you really do. So any yeah, anytime I lose a position, I'm just like, well, here we go, and I give them whatever they want because I am not going to scramble because I'm, I'm really not <laughs> looking to get in. So funny, I am not going to scramble. Just Fuck not. you. So that's why uh, for somebody like me and you know us us uh, older people that do jujitsu, we want to get good at the the pressure game and the you know and the stickiness game. Because we just can't physically scramble to get the position that we want anymore. I can. Or if we're lo- well, you can fine, but I can't. <laughs> so when we're you know losing position, you know, for me it's all over. So I can't lose the position anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad you're old. Yeah, it's it's a real issue. You're it's old. not getting any better either. That's it, the funny it's thing. It's not. Yeah. Should I feel bad for you? Because I uh, don't. You should. You should. But I don't want to. You'll, you'll be there one day. I'm getting there. I get there occasionally. Yeah, if, like you, my if, knee. You, if you keep on injuring yourself on, on the pace you're setting, you're going to be worse than me by next year. Holy shit. It's going to be great. I was doing great, and then all they got in that freaking accident. I've turned into a freaking accident waiting to happen oh, yeah, ever since. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, do you want me to read this? Read what? We got something on Instagram. I don't want to read it. Uh, you well, want to know why I don't want to read it? Are we moving you, on from could, this? Because yeah? you read like shit. Well, partially. That's a big part. You read worse than me. Well, There's a reason I do the reading. <laughs> yeah, there is a reading <laughs> reading problem on my side of the table. Um, but uh, I, first off, don't want to read it because it's Kyle and Amanda. Not giving a last name. Um, oh, are you talking about the uh, the podcast one? Possibly, yeah. Possible pro tip slash podcast. Correct. Point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to read that. You want to read that? Okay, yeah. you do a, do that. Uh, first off, I want to want to tell Kyle because I think Kyle was the one that wrote this. I could be wrong. Um Kind of hope I am. Um, I'm pretty sure, Kyle, you, you're old enough to have your own uh, Facebook account. <laughs> um, you know, like, you know, an adult. I think the age age limit's 13 and an email address, which I'm guessing you have. No, maybe. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know that. <laughs> maybe you can't figure out email. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I see somebody with a shared one, I'm like... Huh. Yeah, you never know who's talking. No, I'm yeah. just like, is this your? Yeah. Is this Amanda? Is this Kyle? So if it's Amanda, pff, you need to freaking you know, <laughs> <it's> one too. <laughs> Make it less confusing, right? <laughs> Read that shit. All right, gotcha. All right, so that was our that was our pressure game stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll yeah, uh, put any, it, any input, let us know. Yep, we like it. Um, hopefully, soon we'll do the uh, the bottom game because that's I think even harder to explain than a top oh, game. Good lord, that's my yeah he. Yeah. He went through it. I'm not even going to fucking try. Ooh, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's tough. a toughie. All right, so we have a, an email slash, whatever you call it. Message. From Amanda. <laughs> po- <laughs> possible pro tip slash podcast talking point. What's the safest way to train takedowns? Um, butt scooting. That's um, the safest. Jumping guard. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. No, that's going to hurt somebody. No, you lay on the ground. Oh, I don't and, give a shit if it hurts other people. I'll jump guard. No, I'm just kidding. Well, if you, if you miss... Like if then, you, they just back off and you land right on your ass, break a tailbone. You don't need that in your life. Let's be safe. Let's sit down slowly and carefully and butt it. scoot towards All right, butt yeah. scooting it so is. So that's the safest way to train a takedown. <laughs> All right, we always start on our feet, and there's a big emphasis on takedowns in our gym. Pause. Why the fuck are you doing that? What? Starting on your feet. When you're brand... I don't know where he's at. He never even mentioned. But if you're new, why are you starting on your feet? So there's there's a thing. So uh, I get it. It's you, not realistic to start on your ass. So there, there's actually a uh, few people out there that hate the idea of starting on your knees because that's not where any fight ever starts ever. Not in a competition. Not in the street. No, nowhere ever. And they hate it. And they think this is the stupidest thing ever. That being said, I love it. I think and I'm it's glad wonderful. We do it. Yeah, because it reduces injury. 
And the bam, the least amount of injuries I can have, the more time I get to train. So guess what? The <gasps> more time I can, the better I can be at what I'm doing, and the quicker I can actually get to my feet, be able to fight on my feet and start on my feet, and not hurt my damn self. Correct. So fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bitter. Yeah, I got little, hurt little recently. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, let's see. We always start on our feet, and there's a big emphasis on takedowns in our gym. I was rolling with a friend a few weeks ago, and as I executed the takedown, we heard a pop, crunch, oh, scream God combination. Uh, uh, very similar to uh, Kip's ordeal. Yeah, it felt great. My training partner this ended up way worse. My training partner ended up with a fully torn ACL and is having surgery next month. Boo. Also, could you guys talk a little bit about etiquette when it comes to being involved in a training partner injury? Thanks, men. This week's episode was legit as usual. Thank you, sir. Hey. Or madam. Hero. Or whatever yeah. <laughs> the case may be. Thanks, Amanda. We appreciate that. <laughs> um, so we do something at Black Lion that is, uh, I'm not sure what you call it. It's like a five-minute drill. So yeah, one, yeah. one person gets to beat the shit out of another person for five minutes with mild feedback so you know who's going to win every exchange yeah so you're not fighting a takedown so hard that right. an injury could happen yeah uh if you're going for a special takedown that's going to be all weird you can explain to your partner what, what you're, you're doing, doing yep. so that you're like all right tuck your head or do this or whatever but you're working the takedown and you can you can have him ramp up the feedback as you need it so at first like just let me do it on you and then you can ramp it up just just, just tell him go 10 yeah, percent, go 20 yeah, yeah. percent. just kind of let me work on this takedown yep. that way it's safe for both of you so you know you both know what's going on you know that you're going to get the takedown he's not fighting it with everything possible and then when you get to the takedown you're supposed to roll through a few moves that you would end up after said take right. so we do it's that great i really like that yeah we do that so you to, to train it safely so if you just want to roll fine also but uh, maybe paper rock scissors who gets to be taken down right yeah or seriously. whatever you want to do or Something. like or like whoever has the higher belt gets taken down what however you want to make this rule to be safe like all right you get to take me down and then you get to decide how much we fight but i know that you're getting the takedown that way i'm not fighting shit that i probably shouldn't or it's not nothing's getting sloppy yeah, so you're yeah, doing yeah. a proper takedown so if you want to start from your feet fine that's great you just do it in a safe manner like that and shockingly enough it comes back to communication you know it seems to come back Fuck. to communication a seems lot. to come yeah. through a lot especially when it's avoiding injuries yeah but whatever we'll talk about that on another show because i think that's a really good thing to talk about for more than five seconds yeah as, as far as etiquette you know you got to make his house payments for him <laughs> you gotta uh, that surgery you yeah. should pay for yeah, that you gotta shit, pay bro. for the surgery you got you gotta buy him an endless supply of whiskey uh, oh, guaranteed. Yes, just par for the course. Yeah, that's the that's the basic etiquette. Like you can adequate, get adequate, etiquette. There you go. Adequate. Thank you. I like etiquette. It looks like adequate, but it's adequate. Yeah. Etiquette. Etiquette. Yeah. Adequate. No, basically you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here's the thing. So I've been injured by <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But so let's say I've been injured by everybody. Certain people look like they care that they hurt me, and certain people look like they don't <laughs> yeah, give a shit. It. So etiquette to me is. At least act like you, concern. like you feel like the biggest <laughs> pile of shit, even if it was a freak accident, even if it wasn't your fault. You fucking act like you are mortified regardless of whether or not you are. Oh, God, That's yes. etiquette. So I want, I, want to, I want you to look like you feel bad. And I'm going to be like, no, 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 it's cool. And that's the etiquette. Yeah, that's of the, the other, etiquette like, of the injured. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're injured, you're like, no, nah, you, you can be screaming in pain, you can be popping, you can be mad as fuck. But if somebody shows you that they're um, remorseful, remorseful, they feel bad, then your reply is, you know, it, it was an accident. It's shit cool. Happens. It, shit happens, yeah. and it does. There's freak accidents. Well, yeah, all the that's time. what I did. I like, dude, I was screaming like a freaking banshee, but it, the and I wasn't even mad at him at the time. I'm mad at him now, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. But if, if you can, you go get him ice, help him off and the table. And he did, yeah. He was, he yeah, was right there yeah. to try helping me in right. the back, uh, but I had way too many other people trying to get me in the back. Yeah. But uh, no, and he apologized immediately, and I immediately told him, like, yeah, shit happens. Yep. I'm like, what are you going to do? Yeah, I feel like the biggest piece of shit anytime oh, God, I dude. hurt anybody. I just, Even if I, I don't think like I hurt anymore. somebody, yeah. I'm like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Yep. They're like, you didn't do anything. I felt like I did. Yeah, but, I mean, we all, everybody says, we're, you know, this isn't uh, a no-contact sport, right? We're not, we're not playing chess here. 
Well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Bad analogy. Ken? We're not playing uh, cricket. I don't know. <laughs> uh, something that's complex yet not. <laughs> horseshoes? We'll go with horseshoes. I like that one. Uh, but, you know, you, shit is going to happen. But, ah. Uh, yeah, just try to be careful. Talk to your coach. Be like, hey, this kind of scares me or whatever. Talk to you know, your partner. and Oh, yeah. Yeah, communication is key. Comes and back yeah. to that a lot. Yep, act. Uh, just saying. Act remorseful. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Even if you're not, do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but what we can even talk about a little bit. Uh, Actually, that you know that should be one of the next pro tips. I, I, I think that's a really legitimate question on uh, – because a lot of gyms do it different. Like some start from the knees, yeah, yeah, yeah. some start from, you know, and yeah. it, that's actually a big thing too, right? That's a, a big um, conundrum in the BJJ community, like starting from the knees, starting from standing. And I think that's a yeah, good question. Well, I think I, I think we should revolve it, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I watched uh, a video snippet from a um, head instructor somewhere, and he w- had made really good points all the way through of, you know, you have to understand self-defense not being just sport jujitsu. essentially. He was using much more aggressive wording, um, but, like, you have to be ready to be hit. How are you going to react when you get hit? Da-da-da. Well, he was doing great until he went, like, off fucking deep end. He's like, hey, you're not learning shit at all until you start getting black eyes and cuts on your face and boom. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. It's one thing to know how you're going to react when you get hit or in a fight. It's a whole nother one. I have no interest. I go to the bank and I work. (laughs) The last thing I need is fucking cuts on my face and bruises on my... And guess what? Like, if I get into a fight... Well, I've been hit in the face. I mean, people... I have a big mouth. I've been punched in the face. Yes, you should have, yeah. (laughs) So I kind of have a good idea how I'll react. A lot of people haven't. Like uh, Jordy, uh, who's a fucking beast, blue belt, that's at our yeah, gym. never been in a never fight. Never been in a fight. He's like, wouldn't fucking know. Oh, yeah. Would you hit Jordy, though? He's too cute. He's adorable. No, I would go to well, punch like, him and be no like, way. man, you are fucking you'd feel, adorable, bro. You'd feel so bad about yourself if you ever hit that man. <laughs> You're just so pretty. <laughs> no, it's me like and, punching a painting. No, you just me, can't do it. Yeah, Me and Kit, people probably pay you to hit us. <laughs> yeah, so. People just walk by. I can yeah. see it on their face. Like, yeah, I would punch like, oh, that geez, guy. I would wreck that dude. But... More people are like that, have never been hit in the face, and more than likely they aren't going to be hit in the face. Jordan's never going to start some shit with somebody like that, but if he has to defend himself, I'm sure he will, but come on, dude. there's, I, there's it, What I'm the, trying to say yeah. is, is part of the whole, you know, God darn it, just getting hurt and the whole thing is part of that mentality of it has to be realistic it has to be that no it doesn't this can be my fucking hobby dickheads like you know what i mean i'm not trying to get into fights that's what i'm saying with jordy like he's not gonna get in a fight with anybody paul you gonna get in a fight with anybody uh probably just you that's fucking different <laughs> we slap a lot pull hair yeah. I'm, I'm too old for <laughs> that stuff man yeah it's, and i'm not i mean it's nothing's that important enough to me to fight somebody over it's just not gonna fucking happen and then you're going to hear some psycho, like on this video, not saying who it was because I didn't pay enough attention because he kind of scared me, <laughs> is, you know, if you go after, you know, what if your kid gets abducted and you have to stop it? I'm like, pretty sure I'm going to do something about that. I <laughs> don't think I need, I don't think there's training for that. No. And, and it doesn't mean that I have to get hurt or work so hard that I can't even move the next day because that's yeah. essentially what you're I doing. I don't need you to punch Ugh. me in my face so that I can protect my kid. <laughs> or or I have to roll so hard that I get a freaking gee burn on my face. And Adam, motherfucker tries to tap people with his face. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking Christ. And, you know. Every time I see him. He's every got, time I'm like, dude, what happened to your face? <laughs> every time, every time it's like, every, it's that hard roll. I'm like, did you roll with your face? So this, this dude, this, I have hard rolls too. My face doesn't look like that, bro. So, so, so this is Adam. This is this is who I affectionately call farm boy. He is the father to my daughter's boyfriend, and. Every time you see this asshole, he's a purple belt and a fucking great one at that. Love that dude. Except for his <laughs> that, face. Except for he fucks people up with his face. I'm waiting for him to tap me with his face. I don't know how he's going to do it because evidently he tries it on everyone. I I hadn't seen him in weeks because he's been working his ass off. He shows up he at the gym. He should also quit his job. Fuck yeah. Let those kids Him go to Jesse. hell. He's Who cares? Quit. Yeah. 
Just quit jobs. It's cool. But so fucking, I see Farm Boy. I see he's sweating because I was. I think I was late. And he comes walking up, and I go, what "The fuck happened to your face again?" No shit. The whole, whole left side, side yeah. of his face completely geeburned. I'm uh, like, "What the fuck were you doing?" He's like, "What?" I'm like, "You were trying to beat somebody up with your face again, weren't you?" He's like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. He just said, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> and then the eye. He always gets those like pressure cut things in the corner of his uh, eye. I'm like, what are you doing? You can't tap people with your eyeball, you uh, son of a I bitch. I bet he did. As right as that thing was, I bet he, <laughs> he got the tap. He probably did. He's a badass. Uh, but yeah, so you he was, I do. I do like neon belly, except it's like face on I go, throat. I do, I do face to chest. It hurts like a bitch. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm assuming because it hurts my face. Right. <laughs> But, you know, to that guy's point, I get it. Like, the more realism you can have, there's a reason why, like, uh, the yeah. Army, Navy, and, you know, yeah, Marines yeah, yeah. and stuff do that. You know, the more real it is, then when it actually happens, you're more prepared. The more I, likely I, you are to react and, correctly. And I understand that. That being said, do what you can. Like, if you want to be all balls well, go get her, then find that kind of school. If you if you just want to train because it's fun and you like learning something and you like the community, then just do that. You're still more prepared be- <laughs> than doing nothing. So, <laughs> doing so, nothing. So, so you got the layman on the couch average dude. Even, you know, let's say the muscle head on the couch, right? He's just jacked, but he never trains. He never rolls at all. And you only roll... Eh, lightly, you know, flow rolls, you get a little hard every now and then, but, yeah, yeah. you know, nobody's throwing punching. You do that twice a week for a year. I will fuck <laughs> said layman <Dude>. up. <laughs> I'm telling you what, you have such a big advantage. I mean, it's it's a you really large know. discrepancy. Well, th- well, look, we have um, another Jesse at our gym. Good Lord, another one. Um, not oh, the, the brand new dude? Yeah, brand new dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was in the Navy. Um, he tied his belt. <laughs> Oh, that fucking was fucking crazy looking. That I'm was like, cute. I look at it and I go, what the fuck kind of knot? Is- we need to fix Did that. Did you and say something? Yeah. I'm oh, good. <laughs> I look at it and I go, what the fuck kind of knot is that? And he's like, it's like, oh, I was in the Navy. I'm like, obviously, because it's staying on, but what the hell? I go, we need to fix that. I was like, he's boasting his knots. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's like, exactly. Yeah. And I was looking at him like, I'll show you later. <laughs> but so I'm rolling with, I'm not rolling, but just playing around. Right. And he is shaking and just oh, oh. he's a new austin a little bit uh, oh well, he was know. shaking while we were doing the freaking leg lock <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Jesus. ankle lock so but he's just because he didn't know yeah, I mean, yeah. he was doing great he and, really you were say, and you were saying as well as i that austin's not doing that anymore so austin yeah we're proud yeah, of you you're buddy. no longer the human savior no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so proud of you ginger <laughs> you graduated beyond <laughs> human sibian <laughs> Oh, he loved that name, by the way. That's not one you can listen to. Yeah, his, I, he's like, I can't listen to that in my office. I'm, no. I'm sure he didn't have to, but I really hope he had to Google it. <laughs> so like, what the hell now that's this? on your Google search, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but but he's shaking, and he's and he's sitting there. And I'm like, all right. Woosa. Okay, woosa. And that was during drills. Then I go to roll. I'm like, come here, dude. Let's let's have fun. And what's the first thing he does? He dips his head into my forehead. Oh, yeah. That'll do and it. I'm like. This isn't going to end well for you. And he goes, why? And I choke him. <laughs> like, yeah. That's why. He goes, well, I don't see the... You're you're exposing your neck by just pushing into me. I'm just going to lean back. I'll choke you this way. I'll choke you that way. I show him a few. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because a lot of people... Oh. Most so, people, when they start, try to go through the guard. Yeah, and that's what... Yeah, and he'd been a wrestler, too. Yeah. So ah. he's like... And he was... And he's just like, man, it just... He goes, it's the opposite of wrestling. I go... And yeah. that's what, and the reason why I bring this up, yes, it's the fucking complete opposite. It's, um, that's what most people you're going to run into are. Either they wrestled somewhere or they wrestled with their buddies or they wrestled with yep. their brothers or they wrestled with their sisters, whatever it was, or they wrestle around while they're playing soccer or whatever it was. So they'll know the general, I want to run through you type shit. Guess what? The person that. Not in this. Not in this. Try that on me after fucking six to eight months. You're going to get fucked up. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Perfect. <laughs> so, yes. I yes. mean, if you're bored, though, you know, have uh, have one of your buddies just slap you around in the face a couple times so you know what it feels like. Yeah, I mean. If that's your, you know. You it, really want to see how hard it is, walk up yeah. to your coach. I'm sure that dude will yeah. punch you in the face. Yeah, you, you'll come to our gym. I'll, I'll punch you in the nose. I yeah. have no qualms. I, yeah. Yeah. You'll yeah. sign a release. Yeah. I'll punch you square in the face. <laughs> right. That's We're right. good. Oh, you need to feel that. Uh, see what that feels like. Perfect. I'm your, I'm your guy. Here's, Actually, I'm not. I don't, I don't want to hurt my hand. <laughs> oh, I'll punch. Jamal. We'll get Jamal to do it. No. <laughs> Cave in someone's oh. face. Oh. 
That's a bad idea. Yeah, not good, dude. That dude punch hard as fuck. <laughs> If there's a dude I never want to get hit by, it's, it's him, for sure dude. him. He's just a fucking beast. He punches hard as hell. He rolls just yeah. psychotically. Yeah, he's no, I'm not fucking I had, with that I dude. Had a really fun roll with him. On yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. it's fun, dude. He's yeah. fun to roll with. Uh, but anyways, I think we're good. Yeah, on this show. All right, uh, we we've been talking. Uh, Jamal is supposed to be on the show sooner or later. Oh, we'll get him. Yeah, well, he's. I busy. told him once he well, defends his title, the then you know. <laughs> To a different total on different side, whatever yeah, different cool. side of the yeah. state. He knows, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> so no, he he wants to be on. It's just his schedule for getting ready for his fights, kind of intense. Ah, well. So, anyways, he said he wants to get in here, so we'll have him on. Excellent. And lastly, I just want to bring up the contest. I will uh, come up with post. Paulie and I were trying to come up with what we wanted for the contest winners. And we just haven't come up with it yet. I think I got a pretty good handle on it. You got it? I do. I Excellent. think it's going to be tape and a shirt. Cool. F- for each person that fixes a section, if you win all the sections, <sighs> Paulie keeps the shirt, and now you get the rest of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no, well, yeah. if you fucking knock out all three of them bitches, I mean, I'm going to give you some credit. I'm, I, I'll send you all that shit. I don't care. Perfect. But um, you better be good. Tell them what we need. Um, we need uh, about us section. That's the most important one. It's the about all of us. So if you've listened to the show. Yeah, what the show is about. What we're what, about. What do we do here? What do we do here? You write that <laughs> what shit What is up. it that you do here? Yeah, and don't worry if it's grammatically ugly as fuck. We got two beautiful wives that will fix it for us because Paul and I can't. Well, um, we're not going to fix it and just put your name on the bottom. But your name will be on the website. Um, if you want to send in a picture, um, we'll add penises to it and <laughs> put it right up there. <laughs> and... Uh, but so, and then we need an about, it, we don't need this as much, but if you want to send a man, we'll run a separate contest. These, it's all three parts, one for Paulie, one for me, about us. So what you've learned about Paul and I over the last 70 episodes. You, you can use kind of what we have. Yeah. You and can then just like yeah, alter it, whatever you want to do. We just want to see what you got. We're crowdsourcing, bitches, yeah. but you get shit for it. How many shows do that? Probably I don't know, none. I don't, I don't think any, anybody yeah. asked for this kind of help. Yeah, who else would do that? Yeah, I think it's fun. <laughs> I just came up with it. I'm like trying to write shit. I'm like, yeah. this isn't as funny as you, I want. You, I you, bet others could do it better. You've been bugging me for six months going, dude, our about us is It's dumb. garbage. It's, it's not, not even it, us. It's not even good. It's, no. It's, yeah, right? It's not about us. It's a serious so almost I'm, thing with so, little tiny quips of not even funny things. I would look at it and be like, I don't know how to make it any better. Neither like, do I. I don't know what to do. No, and I, I don't want to pay somebody to do it. No, definitely don't want to do that because no. I'm designing shirts and that's going to cost me money. <laughs> and we're poor. <laughs> yeah, we're poor. Come on, people, help us out. Shit, to get a seminar, I have to follow Curler around. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out pretty good, it though, out didn't really it? really well. You cost, got some knowledge. <laughs> FYI cost way more than the seminars yeah, would have. a little bit. Little Damn bit. it. Worth it. Uh, totally worth it. Uh, but yeah, no, we last uh, lastly... Check out the website. Um, you can send all your entries for the con- uh, for the contest through there or to our email address, the dads at grapplingdads.com, or just hit it up through a message. I don't care. Just keep it simple. Keep it funny. If it's not funny, I don't. Are you listening to our show? That's yeah. the other question. Yeah, if it's not so. funny, then you don't. You're not you listening don't anyway. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> you just want free stuff. Uh, but yeah, check it out on the website. Uh, give us some reviews on uh, iTunes. We haven't had some in a while, and most of them that we are getting are just you know five stars because we're spectacular. <laughs> uh, um, uh, but yeah, we love reviews. Um, you know, read the reviews that are out there; they're they're phenomenal. They're they're really really Ooh. well written. I and, love them. And basically, I think it's a standing thing. If you're uh, for Paul and I, if you have um, a great review on any of the platforms and we can find it and we read it on the show, you'll get something in the mail from us. You don't know what it might be. It might be leftover, you know, Lasagna. meatloaf. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But it'll be something from the show. It may be uh, the rappers that I ate on this episode uh, uh, sure of my Reese's. That. Yeah, wait for that. Um, fucking. Like, I'm not reviewing shit. I don't want that in the mail. <laughs> no, but you'll get yeah. something for sure because uh, we love our reviews and that really helps us grow. Um, we're Absolutely. growing way faster than we thought we would and we appreciate everybody out there yep you guys rock keep it up love y'all bye